Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday, fun day. We are here in the, uh, well, look who decided to wake up. Bear has wanted to sleep in all morning, a little late night last night for him. He didn't want to get up to eat earlier. He just wanted to lay over or roll back over. So he's been sleeping while we've been getting things set up here. But just wanted to welcome everybody back. A um, little Sunday fun day action. Again, we're going to go working with our, our bands. We've got our set of dumbbells down here. Um, and like clockwork, he's going to be ready to go and probably interfere with the workout, aren't you? Aren't you? Um, those are that are new, they're just tuning in or that are going to be watching this later. We're going to be doing five minute rounds. Um, those are all that are regulars, just kind of hang in there for a couple more seconds while we go over it. So, everybody, uh, whether you have bands or dumbbells, you can use either or for the workout. Um, we'll be doing each round, we're going to do four rounds total. We're going to do each round twice. So, technically, we do eight. I'm going to count it by four. Um, the first round, if we use bands, I want you to try to use dumbbells on the second round if you have that option. If you don't, then whatever you do on the first round, we're going to try to challenge ourselves to make the second round just a little bit more difficult than the first. Um, I'm going to start this first round with just a set of bands. You can do dumbbells here. Um, I'm going to do some reverse flies coming up. We're going to throw in a little bit of legs, but if you'd like to do back flies, you can do the back flies if you have the dumbbells. So it's going to be up to you. So everything's going to be a minute on this first round. Uh, no holds. We're just going to rep everything straight out. Just going to kind of warm the back up a little bit. Hit some extra legs. Not a lot of arms today since we've got arms tomorrow at 5.30, but let's grab those bands, or if you have dumbbells, um, also if you just wanna do back rows and said you can, it's gonna be super light on this first one. Let's get ready on three, two, one. Now let's hit some flies here. So now, I know some of y'all like to go get a warm up in before, so if you've already warmed up, if you've already gone for a run or anything like that, you can feel free to go heavier here if you like. I'm just gonna try to keep tension on those bands and just come straight back with it. Warm this back up a little bit. We're gonna go for about a minute here. I said everything on this one would be a minute. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of ab work and I'll sprinkle in a little bit of legs. I did a bad job of setting the dumbbells right by my feet. So there's really nowhere I can go right now without kicking them and knocking them over. Uh, 20 seconds here. We're gonna be doing a little bit of like a standing crunch coming up. We're going to be sort of like, imagine doing a bicycle. So coming up, we're going to have our hands behind our head. And we're going to take our right elbow over to our left knee. We're going to alternate back and forth here. You can drop your bands or dumbbells in three, two, one. Just coming across right here. All across, right? Knee up high, twist. You come through. If you want to get a little pause at the top, a little pause. Just imagine just a little crunch. So as you come through, squeeze those abs back and forth. So we'll go here. For a minute, go ahead, a little bit of legs. I'm gonna go back to that band work. Just a little bit of core back and legs on this first one. I'm gonna try to split the muscle grooves up a little bit today. We'll do an extra chest on the second round. We have about 15 seconds here. And coming up, we're just going to squat this out. You can go with weight, without. You can step on your bands. It'll be up to you. I'm going to go without. You got about five, four, three, two, one. I'm just going to squat right here. Squat for a minute. I'm going to grab those bands. I didn't really get a good stretch in this morning. I didn't really go for a long walk, so no way to start. And I'll be honest. Been lazy all morning. Sit up last night watching Hangover and Hangover 2. Hilarious. Needed that in my life. It was a, it's a nice day. It's a beautiful day this morning, too. Make some lunch after this. Sit out on the patio. Just kind of enjoy the weather. Got a lot of shade on my side right now. 15 seconds here. Just having a hard time deciding on the movie last night and scrolling through. We're gonna grab those bands in three, two, one. We're going back to where we started with those flies. We're gonna give me a little two second hold on each one. Squeeze. But you just can't go wrong with the hangover. Hangover, hilarious. If you haven't seen Girl Strip, 
it is pretty much the women's version of Hangover. I, the movie, I laughed so hard in the theater. I was in tears. If you haven't seen Girls Trip, you definitely need to watch that. It's not on your list. I'm probably going to finish a little trilogy. I fell asleep during halfway through Hangover 2 last night. So I'll probably finish watching that. And then the third one. First one was obviously the best, but they're all funny. And these days, that's all I need is laughter. 10 seconds here. You got five, you have options coming up. We're gonna do some side bends. And three, two, one. So you can go with your bands and take them up top or you can go with your dumbbell. But I just want you to bring that knee up to the side on each one. So if you have bands, you're holding them out wide. Just kind of give me a little side bend. I bring those knees up. So instead of coming cross body, like we did before, just going left to right, right to left. If it gets difficult with your band, drop it. Same thing if you have your dumbbell. You can hold your dumbbell at your chest if you like. So try to bring those knees up high, squeeze. 30 seconds here. And if you have a dumbbell, you'll definitely be feeling a challenge here in these obliques, a little elevated side bend sort of action. You got 15. If you got bands, you're gonna feel that lats on the outside of your back a little bit. Probably some in your triceps as well. Last five. You got four, three, two, one, recover. Okay, halfway done. That first round. Take your minute to recover here. Hydrate, of course, with Defiance Fuel because there's no other better water out there. And everyone wants to have the best water in the world. And it's delicious. And it gives you special powers. I'm going to be sweating today. Hope you guys got some good plans today. Enjoying the weather, staying in. If you go for a little run or jog. Yesterday, went for a drive. Took the windows off the Jeep for a drive in the country. Just enjoyed. Just the weather was beautiful yesterday. Sometimes you need it. Just turn on the music. You can go. Yeah, about 15 seconds. Um, now, again, coming up, we're going to do that same round over again. If you have dumbbells. Uh, which I do, but I'm going to set these aside real quick. You can use your dumbbells if you had, if you've got, um, that's it. I'm sorry. If you have bands and dumbbells, whatever you use last round, switch it on this one. I'm going to stick with the bands again and kind of add a little bit to it because I know a lot of people just have the bands. But if you've got dumbbells, grab those here. It's ready to go. That back warm up in three, two, one. So this time I'm up high. I'm just coming straight down to the top of my chest. Shooting my elbows out, almost like doing a little lat pull down right here. Whew. Minute here. Squeeze nice and tight. So we always try to add a little bit. Sometimes we'll switch the order up on the workouts. So there's not a specific order you have to go in. I know sometimes I've had a few people message me, they, who, you know, if you can't squat, um, if you'd like to go straight into the ab exercise instead of the squats and then come back, because you already know what's coming up, you can skip the leg part if you need to. Or you can always hit the deadlifts. You have about five here. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna go ahead and hit those squats here. Just gonna squat out. I'll keep those narrow. And then we're gonna come up and we'll go abs back, abs again. And you're also welcome to do deadlifts. Some y'all can do deadlifts. If you're not able to do squats, it's up to you. I'm gonna hit the squats here for 30 more seconds. We're gonna hit those abs. Did spend some of the morning stretching on my yoga mat, AKA my couch. 15 seconds. As y'all can see, I'll get out of the way. He's doing a little better. He's always on the edge of the blanket, 
right to where you can get on the cushion without touching it if you're so close to the side of the cushion. At three, two, one, let's let those abs come across body here. Nice. Woke up this morning, look over at him, and he is right on the edge of that. I'm like, man, why do you have to be on the edge every time? You got that whole entire couch to lay on. He's got to sleep right on the edge. Now, listen, I really want you to focus on pulling those knees up, drive those knees up high. Kind of go stretch those glutes and back a little bit. 20 seconds. We're going to hit that back. We're going to have a little hold coming in. Then we'll hit those side crunches. 10 seconds to go. Yeah, five, four, three, two, one. I right, hit the back again. It's time with the hold. Two minutes left. We're done with this first round. Now, you know, we got those side crunches coming up. So, if you'd like, you can always lay down on the floor and do some side crunches, or you can just crunch it out if you don't want to do them standing up. I like doing stand up. I'm gonna do them with the band coming up as well. Okay, 30 seconds. Really focusing on shooting those elbows down, squeezing those lats as I come down. So I had a little conversation this morning. Not with myself. That's not scheduled till about one o'clock. I'm usually have that. One on one with me and myself, and I at one with some coffee. All right, you got about five here. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. Let's go from side to side. Now I'm going with those bands right here. Let's get a little bit extra isolation. Squeeze on those obliques and those lats. But I did have a talk with a friend of mine, a good friend of mine this morning. And I think we're going to have been talking about setting up a time to chit chat and go Instagram live and just kind of just BS with some people that I think are fun and entertaining and that we can just be ourselves. So Wednesday evening, around like seven or eight, you got a one-on-one -on -one Instagram live chat coming up. So if you got nothing going on Wednesday evening, which which I probably won't be scrolling through anyway. Just be ready. Got five more here. Four, three, two, one. Good. Now back is nice and stretched. Take that minute here. What's up, big boy? Huh? What you doing? You waking up? Yeah. You have a good sleep. Who's a guest slip? Like a bear in hibernation. So it feels like, huh? Doesn't it? Yeah. But so 30 seconds. We're going to start round two. So one round down, three to go. We're going to focus a little bit more on chest coming up. Um, you'll have options on this one to do some push ups. We'll be doing a little bit of core work as well. I'm going to stick with the bands and focus on my flies and chest presses. If you have the door wedge um, right here that goes in the door frame, you can go ahead and put that in and put your bands in there because we're going to be focusing more chest and abs, uh, and we'll sprinkle a little bit of legs as well. Okay. okay. 10 seconds. Let's get ready to go. If you've got dumbbells, you can lay down on this one for the most part and do this on the floor. Um, we will do a little bit of legs at the end of this. So, again, five minutes, a minute each exercise, five exercises, chest, a little bit of abs, chest, a little bit of abs, and then we'll do legs at the end so if you want to lay down to do this first one, you can, because you can just do your abs on the floor as well. Or if you have a bench, some of y'all have a bench. So it's up to you. Let's go. go. In three, two, one. Yeah. So a little chest fly. I'll turn my palms in a little bit as I go. Let's try to change the angles. Hit here. So I'm going to go a minute on flies with my bands. If the flies do get too difficult, if you're using the door wedge, you can always turn around to a press. So squeeze at the top. Oh. 
Now, coming up, you'll have your abs. If you have bands, we're going to stay with your bands. I'm going to work on a little bit of a twist. If you have a dumbbell, you're going to be doing a Russian twist if you're on the floor or just twisting it out by standing. It's up to you. Or if you had a couch mirror, you can sit down with the couch. You got five here. Four, three, two, one. With those bands, we're just twisting it out side to side right here. Pulling those bands in. You can hold them out into a little bicep curl if you like. Keep that core nice and tight right here. It's a little twist. If you're not feeling this, if you'd like to go for a little bit more speed here, you can, or you can always have a seat on a floor, a bench, chair, a couch and do crunch, knee tucks, or a straight leg lift. Or you can just twist a Russian twist without a dumbbell, if you like. I like this one with a little hold because it kind of engages biceps around your shoulders a little bit as well. And since we're kind of hitting our shoulders when we do this chest exercise, 15 seconds coming up. Yeah, about 10. Give me five. Chest again in four, three, two, one. Hit that chest. A minute here. So we'll go a minute here. Try to find that little two second hole if you can. About 30 seconds, what are you doing, buddy? I need to take him for a nice long walk today. Wear his butt out like we did last night, which is probably why he slept so long today. 20 seconds, we're gonna go back to that twist. Now with the twist coming up, those abs, if you're doing a Russian twist, you're gonna be holding for two on each of the reps. 10 seconds. We got five, we got four, three, two, one, twist, hold. So what we're gonna do here, is throwing those little twists, holding for two on each one. And then we're gonna hit some lunges coming up. We got about 90 seconds left. Yeah, nothing too complicated on these workouts. And we're just trying to keep things a little bit more basic. Not trying to really overdo it, but you can always add to the workout if you need to add your own little style to it, your own little spice. 10 seconds. We got five, four, three, two, one. And we're just gonna hit these lunges. I'm just gonna twist out on each side. Just gonna alternate back and forth. If you can't lunge right here, you can squat if you like, and you can always do a deadlift as well. 45 here. Definitely be ready to eat again after this is all over. <sighs> 30 seconds. And if you have your dumbbell here, you can hold that dumbbell and throw in that twist. <sighs> really just here trying to stretch and open up his abs and back a little bit since we're gonna be doing more. Also, key thing to do, tie your shoes. I have not tied my shoes, so I'm having a hard time twisting without almost falling out of them. Yeah, three, two, one, break. All right, what are you doing? So, got a break here. I'm gonna take a minute. Let me get him a treat. There you go. There you go. So, a minute here. We'll go back and do that again. So, now you know what's coming up. So, we're gonna go chest abs, chest abs, those legs. I'm gonna focus on. Uh, I'm gonna do my flies again. Then I'm gonna focus on a negative rep coming down. Um, 
with the twist, I'm gonna have a seat on the couch and hit my twist next time. It's kind of be a little bit more of a range of motion. Um, I'll go without bands on that one, but you can still do your standing twist if you like, um, especially when you get that little extra engagement in your shoulders and your chest. All right, let's get ready to go. See those bands, you got that chest coming up. Again, you can do presses here if you're doing presses on your with your wedge, band wedge in the door frame, or if you wanna lay down and do it with your dumbbells, either one will work. I'm gonna stand up again, so those of y'all don't have any of those extra pieces of equipment can do it. Like me, let's go in three, two, one, let's go. Plies here, coming up. Just really trying to take my time as I come down. Focus on that negative. Just trying to take about three to five seconds as I come down slow. Control right here. Good morning, sunshine. He's officially up and back off the couch. Let's see how long this lasts. 30 seconds here. And then I'm gonna have a seat on the couch and do a little Russian twist. You can also do these twists standing if you want to go without the bands. Like last time we held the bands, but if you would like to do them standing and take the bands and hold that little back fly like we did on the first round, you can do that as well. Actually, I'll show you how to do that since everyone knows how to do a seated Russian twist. Okay, about five here. Give me four, three, two, one. So back to those twists. So if you got that one dumbbell, you can twist it out. So here, we're just gonna twist that band that core nice and tight again notice how i'm not twisting my hips here just coming back twisting that upper body only shoulder blades are nice and tight right here 30 seconds and we're going to go back to the chest again Maybe about 20, uh, close to 15. <sighs> 10 seconds, we hit that chest again. We have five, four, three, two, one. Let's hit that chest. Again, we're gonna focus on those negatives right here. I'm down slow. Had a, I've got the TV on, but we have it muted. Since we know if we forget to turn it all the way down, we get shut off on our live stream, so it's muted. But I was noticing yesterday, we lost sound again. My fault, I had the uh, Bluetooth speakers in, our headphones in. So I've got the Beats Pro. I like them 90% of the time, but I ran into a couple one day, uh, months and months and months and months ago. This is before Christmas. And uh, he was a runner outdoor and he said, there's a new AirPods and there's a Beats Pro and he liked the AirPods better because of the Beats Pro. Um, those y'all don't have them. There's the case that come in and they, there's a little magnet in there in the case and then the AirPod. And it, when you put it in, it holds it in place and it charges it. And he was like, yeah, three here, two, one, let's go back to those twists. And he was telling me that he didn't like the AirPods because sometimes or the Beats, sorry, he doesn't like the Beats Pro because sometimes it doesn't charge one of the ear earpieces. I like, that doesn't make any sense. But now that I've had them, it does. Sometimes one of them doesn't, doesn't, I guess, attach properly in there, so it's not charging fully. So then you're just kind of screwed when you put them in. And sometimes one of the headphones will go out and disconnect from the Bluetooth, which is what happened yesterday. And so when that happened, we lost sound halfway through the workout, but my fault, I heard, you can hear the headset or headphone kind of power down, but I didn't realize that if one goes out, it disconnects all together. You just have to reattach. So I've had it happen before when I'm working out with music, but 10 seconds here. So we fixed it for today. Yeah, three, two, one. Let's hit these lunges here. Lunge, twist, lunge. Twist a little bit of a hold. Really focus on twisting that body all the way around. Again, if you have that dumbbell, let that momentum carry you around as you're going. 
and again, tie your shoes because I didn't. I had time to do it. I just don't like to tie my shoes. It's weird, I know. But you know what? I'm not trying to be normal. The only thing basic about me is going to be these workouts. Other than that, we're going to be weird. We're going to have fun. 20 seconds. It's like, Barry, he's not normal. Are you, buddy? Who's ever seen a chocolate bulldog before? I haven't. I've seen one that looks black and tan, like a Rottweiler color. Not chocolate. That's why we get along. Three, two, one. Whew. Two rounds down, two to go. Take a breather, take a break. And we already start the second half count. So round three is coming up. All right. Now, as I said before, oh, sorry, bud. Not a lot of legs today. I mean, not a lot of arms today. So a more legs. So we've got some arm stuff coming up. You're going to be able to do it with bands. If you have dumbbells, this next one will probably be a little easier with the dumbbells because we're going to engage some curls and legs, a little bit overhead triceps, legs. If you have bands, we're just going to do kickbacks. Hey, big guy. Um, wish y'all could see this right now. Bear has this thing to where when he needs attention or love and affection because he definitely doesn't get enough of that all day long. He will roll over so you can rub his belly. And so coming up, I'm going to do this first round with the bands. So you can see, but I'll do the second half with the dumbbells. So it's going to be more legs, a lot more squats here. So again, if you can't squat, you can deadlift these. Um, if you would like to just do the arm part, you can just do the arm part. So you're going to have a consistent amount of legs here all the way through, and we're just gonna sprinkle in a little bit of the arms. Now, if your legs start to get tired, good little trick, go slower on your reps with the arms, gives your legs a little bit more of a break. So, excuse me, bud, I know. He's like, why are you talking to everyone but me? All right, watch, he's gonna go right to the edge. You see where the, the edge is, right? He's gotta go right there up against it when he has this entire couch he can play on, but no. All right, let's go, you're going three, two, one, here's what I want, I want you to give me five squats. Five squats here. One, two, three. And then you're gonna be two curls. Four, five. And you go as slow or as fast as you want with those curls. You can even hold your curl in your squats if you want. But we've got a lot of squats on this round, so I'm not gonna be holding a whole lot. So if you have dumbbells, sometimes I'm going to be a little more of a challenge. Now you can also keep the bands up by your shoulders on each of these squats. You want to add a little extra resistance to it. It's up to you. Coming up. Got about five more seconds, and we're going to hit those kickbacks or your overhead triceps in three, two, one. So we're still going to two on the triceps. Stick with those five legs. that burn. Now, with deadlifts, if you like, if the squats start to get to be too much, throw in a set of deadlifts instead. Five, kickbacks. Right, we've got about 20 seconds. We throw in those shoulders. I think that was five. Last 10 seconds here. Try to get one more set of triceps in. Upright rows of shoulder presses coming up. In three, two, one. I'm gonna go upright rows for two. I'm gonna bring it in, I'm gonna go more narrow squat for the five. Three, four, five. Hey, you know you're on my side of the couch, right? What do we do? Yeah. It's like, do you not give me attention? I'm going to lay on your side of the couch. Give me a little side eye. He knows what he's doing. 
Y'all think he's all cute and cuddly. He can be a stubborn ass. I have no idea where he gets it from. Because I am the opposite of stubborn. I don't know if anybody kind of follows what their zodiac symbol is. I'm a Gemini. It kind of fits a lot of things, but I thought it was kind of funny. Because I never really paid attention to him. All right. It's time. If you squats, we're going to go back to curls. Three, two, those two curls. I'm doing the uh, squats for Derek Wolf, aka the karaoke dad. I know he's a big fan of the squats. So these are for you, buddy. I love you. His Instagram stories are definitely entertaining. If you haven't watched watch them, him, his wife, and his little girl, Arlie, he's made a few cameos on the IG stores during the workouts. Killing it. 10 seconds here. One, two. After these squats, you're gonna go to those kickbacks to finish up. Again, I'm doing kickbacks to so have bands. You can do the overhead triceps if you like. Especially if you have the dumbbells, I'd be a little easier for you. Two, three, four, five, kick back. It's our last 30 seconds right here. Have extra legs on this one, but you don't have the legs on the next round. Four, five, one, two, 15 seconds. Four, five, last one's right here. You know, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, we are. Way done, you, you fat chunk, come here on your side. See, rough life here. I know. I'm just gonna be laying there, huh? Whew, okay, good work. We got that half to do again. And we'll finish up on that fourth round. A little leg burner on this one. But we didn't do legs yesterday. Focus more on the upper body. It's a little bit light arms on this one, like I said, because we're going to hit arms tomorrow, 5.30. So we're sticking in the routine. We got arms on Monday, lower body on Tuesday, chest back uh, Wednesday, Thursdays, abs and ass. Friday, Saturday, Sunday's full body. We focus more on the upper body on Saturday since we hit the glutes on uh, Thursday. And we're gonna hit some sort of squat or lunge or something Friday and Saturday. So just trying to get the day off on those legs. All right, let's go here this time. I'm gonna switch to dumbbells. If you have your bands in the wedge, you can still do this. You can do your two curls high, and then you can do your two kickbacks. And then if you want on those shoulders, you can just do some high pulls. Either way it'll work. All right, let's right, ready to go. Three, two, one, let's go. Two curls, and again, like last time, if you want to do more squats, you can switch it to deadlifts. It's up to you. I'm going to go with the squats. So, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. And if you want to focus on those negatives here, since it is our second. All right, feel free. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. It went viral. There's a guy who's on Instagram Live. Two, we got shoulder, or you got overhead triceps and kickbacks coming up. Three, two, one, two. Try to add Steph Curry to 
to his fly chat and Seth Curry actually signed on. And I'm pretty sure I can't remember the guy's name. He's one of the wide receivers at Middle Tennessee State. Hi here in Tennessee, down in Murfreesboro. Now don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's where he's at. But I thought that was cool. That's tough curry to do something like that. Kids all over like wanting to just chit chat with idols growing up. I mean I did. Of course I must be like Michael Jordan. I had a way of interacting with him. But he just, you know, shoot your shot, you never know. So maybe we'll try to see if Halle Berry wants to jump on on Wednesday. You never know. Ten seconds here. Then we hit those shoulders. Last set of squats. I hit those shoulders here. You can go uprights. You can do presses. You can do whichever ones you want. You can do side raises. It'll be up to you. Thirty seconds, and then we're gonna go back to the biceps. Twenty seconds to go. I know you're yelling and cussing at me right now. Damn, can't believe the last squats. All right, but it's the only round we have left with lay, so we'll be fine. And we're not using heavy weights here. Some of y'all might be. Most of us aren't. Squats coming up. You got curls after this. Same idea. Two curls. One. Two. Again, you can hit those deadlifts. If you like throwing deadlifts, you give those legs a break. It's not a wrong way here. Thirty seconds left. Here we go with those biceps for the day. Got about twenty. Last fifteen. You got ten. You got five, four, three, two, one. You know what? We're doing curls here anyway. Three, two. Now we're eating triceps. Can't be distracted over here. Keep seeing Mexican restaurant. Lost Doritos next door. Now I can think of is chips, guac, and their margaritas. I love that place. And the only bad thing about changing views in a new apartment is I get to stare at that every day and they're still doing the curbside delivery which is fantastic i gave it i have not ordered from there yet i've been cooking every day every night i haven't ordered pizza i have had pizza I had a cauliflower pizza and i had last 10 seconds four five last two one, two, good work. Okay, take your break here. We are done with round three. We got one, one round to go. So coming up on the next one, we're gonna focus a little bit of core. We're gonna kind of go back and hit some back. So you have options here coming up. If you want to, uh, use your bands or your dumbbells. So a little bit of back, but we're going to do a good grip of chest as well. So now that being said, chest, if you have a bench, you can use your chest press here. If you're on the floor, you can lay down and do your chest. You'll be able to easily rotate over and do the little bit of back that we have. So if you'd like to focus more on like a lower back, you can do a Superman. Uh, we'll have rows. So if you have your door frame and your wedge in there, you can put your bands in there if you like. I'm going to start with the 
bands standing, so it's easier to see what I'm doing. I did some like this for a little bit on chest. Now, if you have bands, I want you to start with both handles in your hands, step out one foot, and we're gonna do some rows right here. It's gonna bend over and we're gonna row. So we're gonna start there and then we're gonna hit our abs. Now, if you're in the door frame, you're gonna be taking your bands in the door frame and you're gonna be twisting out. If you have dumbbells, you can just lay down and do a side crunch. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a side bend with the bands. Um, so back, abs, back again. So we're gonna go 30 seconds on back and we're gonna go a minute on abs, 30 seconds on back, and then we're gonna hit uh, the other side and then we're gonna finish up a little bit of chest. So let's get ready to go in three, two, one. Just a quick 30 second burnout right here. So I'm gonna go for a little bit of speed. And actually we'll just do the 30 seconds on the abs as well. Fifteen seconds. So if you got your dumbbell here, you can do flies or rows. If you're on the floor, you can do a Superman here. If you don't want to do this, or you can do your rows. Three, two, one. Side bends. Not really worried about which side. Normally, I would switch hands so I can isolate this same side of obliques I'm doing back, but I'm not worried about it today. This one is more about a little bit of speed, keeping it controlled. I'm trying to get that heart rate up. 15 seconds, we're gonna go back to rows on the same side. If you're on the floor here, you can do your Superman again. 10 to go. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Row it out, 30 second rows. You got about. 15 here, definitely needed uh, to wear shorts that weren't thick like sweatpants here. Three, two, one, switch legs. All right, 30 seconds here. Give me about 20. Here again, if you want, you can step back with those legs. You got 10. Give me five sidings coming in four, three, two, one. Let's do some side bends right here. 30 seconds, and we go back to those rows. So I was going to tell this story earlier. So I was watching the TV on the ticker. I was talking about how uh, WrestleMania is on and they're doing like a two part. Of course, I grew up in the old school wrestling with Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Ultimate Warrior, things like that. So they have two days uh, WrestleMania event. One night was last night and there's another one tonight. I was listening to a story the other day. And one of the guys said that him and some buddies were um, uh, doing like a, I don't know if it was a live chat, FaceTime, whatever it was. It's great to hit those rows in three, two, one. A little longer on the side bits on this one, that's okay. And so there's like, I'm guessing there's a little bit of alcohol involved in this. And like, you know what we should do? We should. Put the WrestleMania on video game, the Royal Rumble, and just simulate it. Let the computer do it. So you never know who's coming. And they sat there for about 25, 30 minutes, I think he said, and just watched the Royal Rumble on the Xbox or PlayStation where I was watching. Three, two, one, shake it out. Okay, coming up here. Short break. Transition. Chest. We're gonna do the last two minutes on chest. Now I did a little bit longer side bins on that one. That was my fault. I just got distracted telling you a story. So we got two minutes left here. What we're gonna do is focus two minutes on chest. So if you're on the floor, chest press. If you have a bench, chest press, chest flies, whatever you want. We're doing a two minute burnout on chest. Like I said, we didn't do a lot of chest yesterday. So we're making up for it today. It's a burnout. If you're doing push ups, you can do your push ups, toes, knees, whichever you want. If you have your bands in the frame, you can go flies or presses, but we're just gonna go for a two minute burnout here. In three, two, one, let's go. And you can press here if you like. I'm gonna stick with the flies. 
This is just all you right here. You can go with speed if you want. You can alternate cross body. If you're standing with dumbbells, you can do the exact same thing I'm doing right here. I'll demonstrate the next round with dumbbells so you can see standing how to do it. But if you have dumbbells on this chest, I would recommend just laying down on the floor and doing a floor press or a chest press on the floor. Now, remember, we're just still trying to push you to failure on this one. So if you need your break, take it. Give yourself that five seconds. We don't have the heavy weights here. So if you've got lighter weights and a press is too easy, give me a fly. Or you can try to hold and pulse the whole time if that's easier, it's up to you. Or not easier, if it's more of a challenge for you. Yeah, three, two, one minute down, one to go. I'm gonna try to hold here as long as I can. So I'm gonna go for a hold as long as I can, then I'm just gonna burn it out. So this, you don't have to do this one. If you want that extra challenge, I would. So if you got your dumbbells, maybe hold and pulse it out here as long as you can, and then finish with a burnout. About 40 seconds left. So I thought that was hilarious. I was like, you're at the point where you guys are FaceTiming, and it's, people just want to socially interact, and that's a great way to do it. I mean, it's the best way right now. And they just put it on TV and just there. You know, we were just getting excited. He's like, someone would come out. Steve Austin would come out. We'd go crazy. Oh, Steve Austin's coming down. And so I was like, that's, I'm not quite that bored yet. So a bunch of TV shows are going to catch up on. 10 seconds here. We got five, four, three, two, one. Whew. All right. So I'm going to do the next one with dumbbells. That is not going to be fun. It's going to be stimulating. All right. We got a minute break here. And we're going to go one more round. All right. So this time I will focus on the clock. We'll do the rows. Uh, on one side again. Now, if you're on the floor, if you want that challenge, you can do like a renegade row um, on that one side. You, uh, If you're a little bit more advanced, you can try to do that with your left foot off the floor as you row. If you want to engage your core a little bit more. Again, if you don't, if you want to focus on more lower back, you can hit your Superman for 30, roll over, do a side crunch for 30, Superman again. It'll be up to you. But I'm going to go with rows on this one. Um, I'm gonna focus on more of a lower reverse row, just what I prefer, but you can do any row you want right here. 30 second row, side bend, 30 second row, switch. Ready? Let's go in three, two, one, row it out of here. So I've got to watch, I still haven't watched uh, Tiger King. I'm holding off on that. Some people are like, don't watch it. It's stupid, it's cheesy. 100% believe that everyone will agree. I just, I sometimes want to watch stupid, cheesy stuff. But I'm not quite there just yet. I think before I go to Tiger King, I'll probably watch Elf one time. Because when, it's always this time to watch Elf. I'll set those side bends in three, two, one. Side bends here. Swipe that message off there. So we got about 15 seconds here. And we're gonna hit those rows again. I'm gonna switch the next one to a fly for 30. Another thing that I'm seeing that might be coming up is televising uh, a horse competition, the game horse or pig. So I'll play three, two, one, sit that back. A little flies on this one. With NBA players, some of them obviously have gyms, basketball courts at their house. And so they're gonna be getting people together and doing a horse competition. Winner, I think. I think the winner will get money. He'll go to his charity of choice. I think that's a good idea. I thought it'd be fun to watch. See what kind of trick shots people can come up with. 10 seconds here. We got five, four, three, two, one. Switch it up. I'm going to go rows on this left side. But anything to kind of give people something to do and watch. So not everyone has to sit there and simulate WrestleMania or Royal Rumble. On their Xbox console. 
we got 10 seconds here. We hit those side bends in five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds here. And hit those flies. Whew, and then we got that two minute burnout on chest. And we're done. We got less than three minutes to go. That's it. Let's push through. 15 seconds here. Hit that bag on that left side. Got about 10. We got five. We got four, three, two, one. Fly right here. Just imagining pool days in the summer. Laying out. One of the funny memes I saw, I think it was yesterday, someone had posted. 10 seconds here, we grab those dumbbells. Or your bands, you're gonna hit your chest in five, four, three, two, one. All right, chest right here. This is it. I'm gonna alternate these so I can hold at the end. Was uh, just to give you a heads up, when I see you, be prepared for an extra long, awkward hug. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty much what everyone's gonna want. It's good, high five hug, good to see each other. I get excited seeing my boys, see my friends, after just a day of being gone. But hey, I'm gonna see everybody in months. All right, we got 90 seconds left. Bear, are you almost done? He's like, well, don't talk to me. You want some camera time? Hmm? Want some camera time? We're almost there. You ready to go for a walk? He's like, yeah, I'm ready to go outside. You might as well give me some more food too. I'm hungry. It's always hungry. Okay. 10 seconds. We're going to try to go for that hold. You got a minute coming up in five, four, three, two, one. Hold right here. If that hold gets difficult and you want to rep it out, you can, or you can always switch to a front press and hold. 15 seconds and we got 45 seconds and we're done. I support a little bit of everything right here. Shoulders, biceps, really trying to focus on extending out, pressing those dumbbells together and squeezing my chest right here as best I can. 30 seconds. Almost there. We got 25 to go. You can push through, you can hold it here. Hold it together, you got 20 seconds. Don't stop. 15 seconds. All the way through, all the way through. Last 12. Extend it out a little more. Ooh, give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We are done. And done. Happy Sunday. Thank you guys for tuning in for Sunday Fun Day. Enjoy the weather. Sit on your porch. Get some fresh air. Open the doors. Open the windows. Send someone a text. Tell them you said hey. Tell them you miss them. See you guys tomorrow, 530, arms and abs. Enjoy your Sunday. Love y'all. See you soon.